Hey guys, Joe Fish here, and I have got the big D bag overnighter kit plus. Let's check it out. All right, guys, like I said, though, I've got the big D bag. Um, this is the overnighter kit plus. This is month 11. It'll fall in a minute, buddy. Hold on. <clears throat> and I'm just going to kind of pull this out because there's a lot of stuff in this box. And we will kind of go over them one by one. Alright, so first up we have the Stansport flashlight slash radio, and that is right here. Okay, cool. And they're giving out a $40 value at Stansport.com. Alright, so what this is is a emergency radio. Alright, sorry, kids are getting wound up. They've been at school all week, so now it's make life miserable day. Alright, so basically what you're getting is there's no batteries to this. You're going to hand crank it up. It's going to be an emergency radio. You also get the weather band, FM, and it's also a flashlight. So, um, it's not charged up right now and I'm not going to do it. You guys have all seen these before. I have a couple nicer ones than, the, than this. Um, but it's not a bad item to have, just not one that, I mean, not one I would want another one of, I guess. Um, Alright, next up, and this is one of the reasons why I'm getting rid of this, is because, honestly, this is a tchotchke, like, gimmicky item. Uh, and this is the para uh, multi tool with paracord handle. Um, let's see here. They're giving this a twenty-five dollar value. Sure, I get it. It's got a little hex head there, line cutter. It comes with a ferro rod. It's got some uh, paracord for the handle. It does come with the sheath. There's different ways of carrying it. Or no, I'm sorry. They, they explain to you how the sheath works. Um, Give me a hatchet or a tomahawk or something, but this little thing is literally, uh, it's just going to be, it, I don't know, I'm not going to use that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to waste pack space for this. I have knives that have ferro rods in with them, and I have hatchets and tomahawks that are smaller and lighter than this. So, I don't know, that's just one of them items that I wouldn't waste my money on. Alright, back again. We will try again. Uh, like I was saying, that just, I wouldn't waste, it is a very, it's very heavy. Uh, I have a tomahawk that would be, I don't know, half this in weight and would take up less room in the pack. Uh, I also have a hatchet that would take up less room in my pack. Maybe might weigh about the same, but... Because um, it is very thick gauge steel. I don't know. I just, I don't know. That item there I wouldn't want. Uh, next up we have the folding pack grill. Now this isn't a bad item. Uh, I think this is probably better than a lot of the um, put together ones. However, uh, and it does feel very, very well made. Um, I don't know if I'd put this in a pack either. I have uh, little cookers that I would use, but... I don't know. That's up to you guys, I guess, depending on weight versus distance traveled and time spent. I mean, I wouldn't use this in a bug out bag, but as a in my camping kit, if I was going to go to a say stay at a campground, I might use this in a fire pit, like in their little fire ring. So I don't know. It's not a bad item, just not one that I would use um, in like maybe a bug out bag. It's a little too heavy for that. Uh, and this item here is one of the reasons why I was definitely done, and it's this. It's made in Spain. Quality, I guess, I don't know. Let's see if it's at least maybe plastic lined. Uh, 
I just this is like a, this is another one of those gimmicky items that I mean it would be good to like maybe have for your kids to use or whatever. But as an adult, I would not use this. I would not. I would take a canteen. I have a couple canteens. I would use a canteen before I use this. Um, let's see here. This is one liter, so it holds 34 ounces. If you're gonna go that route. Um, I don't know. I, it's, just, it's more of a gimmicky item, like, I guess. Uh, next up we have the, by, and that's, and they're giving that pack grill a $20 value, $16 value, and these fire sticks by Kuglins, they're giving this a $7 value, which these are nice because you can actually take these and, and shave them and make your tinder that way, uh, break them in half, break them into pieces, whatever, this, these are good, I like these. This is a good item. Those will definitely be separated between my bug out and get home bags and still have some that I can put in my camping kit. So, um, like I said, they're giving them a $7 value. Next, by Gear Aid, is the Gear Aid Nye Glow Gear Marker. They've sent one of these before. Um, not a bad idea, not a bad item to have. Um, I'll probably end up putting these on my kids' like backpacks, so that way they're visible at night. Um, we got different clips there for it, but there we go. There's some information on that. Charging the sun or artificial light for 10 minutes. Longer charge or, or stronger light increases brightness. And that's it. So this is going to be my last, um, the big D-bag. Uh, I'm still kind of a little bit rubbed wrong about the way that they handled their um, beta phase. If you signed up for their beta phase before they, um, while well, they were still trying to grow the company, your price was locked in. Well, then they ended up upping the price, but they gave out more items. And I, like, I basically, like I said before, they kind of negates the whole jumping in early for the reward if you take away the reward I mean granted yeah I don't have to pay as much and as, as eventually as the new as the beta members start canceling those subscriptions they won't be getting that price anymore because what I was doing is I was paying like 34 bucks or something like that or 40 bucks I don't know I wasn't paying a lot and I was paying like eight eight nine dollar shipping so I was paying like 40 six or seven dollars total for the bag a month but um, every, all the new subscriptions are getting like two or three more items and a higher value to the, to their box. So I don't know, like I said, it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. That's like, we jump in early, help the company grow, put the name out, you know, people get it. They spread the word of mouth, whatever, however it goes. Um, and then you kind of take away that reward of jumping on early by, uh, offering another price that's slightly higher for more items. Just, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't, could be me just being weird, but that's my take on it. But there we go, guys. It's the last one. Um, I think I'm going to give this to my kid. Uh, I wish I would have did this the other day because it was Cowboy Day or Western Day at school the other day, and he went as a cowboy, and I, he probably could use that, I don't know, for his little costume or whatever. But, um... All right, guys, there we go. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Here we go. Joe Fish out.